first time since the pandemic began, an old-fashioned, traditional flu shot type of COVID-19 vaccine may soon be available in the U.S. It's the Novavax vaccine, which is already in use around the world. The FDA just approved Novavax for emergency use in adults, and next week, the CDC will consider it as well. And what Novavax is not is what sets it apart. Tonight, John Shirek has more on what you need to know. There is nothing new about what makes Novavax work against COVID infection. Anyone who's had a flu shot automatically understands what Novavax is and what it is not. Novavax is not another mRNA vaccine like Pfizer and Moderna. What it is is a simple protein-based vaccine. Novavax contains an inactive protein that your body thinks is coronavirus. So the two-shot dose fools your system into producing antibodies that protect you, exactly like flu shots do against the flu. So it's a much more traditional vaccine. 11 Alive medical correspondent Dr. Sujatha Reddy. And the technology for this has been around for decades. And according to the trials, Novavax is 90% effective in preventing serious COVID illness. As it is, about one-fourth of Americans have still not received any COVID vaccine. That's tens of millions of people. And part of the reluctance from the beginning has been distrust of the mRNA technology of Pfizer and Moderna. I just need to make sure that it's been around for some time where I know specifically what the side effects are. For people who um, have stated that their concern is they don't want to receive a vaccine with new messenger RNA technology, it's now time to pay the piper. Dr. Jane Morgan of Piedmont Healthcare's COVID Task Force. You didn't like the messenger RNA vaccine? Novavax is here on the scene. We'd like to see you get vaccinated. Novavax is not yet approved as a booster for people who have already had the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. Once the data is analyzed, we may see that you can mix and match, but right now it's too early to say. The U.S. has ordered more than 3 million doses of Novavax, awaiting possible CDC approval as soon as next week. In Atlanta, John Shirick, 11 Alive News.